What's up, everybody? This is Chinadu, and this is PSA Radio. Viewer, to answer your question, is it why are women so rude and disrespectful in the club? The answer to that is simply, it's none of your business. Why they're rude and disrespectful has nothing to do with you. You just mind your business and do what you need to do and move on about your own stuff. Anyway, it's a club, not Congress. It sounds like you're trying to lobby for equality, man. It's a club. It's a shallow place. Understand that, please. Truth be told, most women don't even go to the club for guys anyway. Most women, and actually most men go because they all want to do this one thing that's a common trend in all clubs. Fronting and stunting. Fronting and stunting is a serious condition in the clubs where it causes men and women to behave in ways that aren't normal. They, get, they take on this illusion of grandeur that they're a boss or some type of ace type diva. And here's an example. Most women look like this. They go to the club and think that they're this, go in the restroom and do this, go home like that, and then wake up like this. And the hangover is the reward for fronting and stunting. Now, I know most people might disagree with what I'm saying, though, but this is just my opinion. I need ladies to understand that while fronting and stunting may be fun for some of you guys, you have to understand that it comes with certain drawbacks that I know most you ladies are aware of. For example... It's that creepy guy that walks around with a bottle in his hand that thinks that just because he's holding a bottle, it entitles him to actually sit down with you and carry on at least a five-minute conversation. And even worse, there's that extra creepy guy that buys you one drink and your friend a drink and thinks he has the right to follow you around the entire club. I mean, it gets so crazy that like he follows you basically to the bathroom. I mean, he has a type of mentality that like if he paid for that drink, he has the right to hear you pee it out. Crazy stuff. I know. Now, I hate to say this, but fronting and stunting is actually a lot worse for the fellas. Because at least with the women, they don't end up breaking bank over the stuff, though. Because they get free drinks and free admission. Dudes will go on a crazy binge and think they're some, some type of boss when they ain't paid their bills yet. I don't understand it. They'll go out to the club knowing they only got $20 in their account. And they'll go out and they'll buy a drink. And then they'll buy more drinks. And then they'll buy more drinks. And more drinks, and more drinks, and more drinks. And before you know it, you have literally spent so much money on drinks that your debit card is literally smoking. And you know your bank is going to call you in the morning to completely cuss you out because they have already waived, what, three old draft fees in your account already? And you know you owe the limit, man. And for those of you that don't know, old draft fees are the number one way that banks make their money. So while you're pretending to have deep pockets, you're only adding more money to theirs. It's a shame, huh? I know. While we're talking about while we're talking about guys, what's up with the guy that always wants to find romance or love in the club? I mean, that's like the weirdest guy to me that like he sits there and like acts like he's like ready to get married. Like he just sees a girl and on the dance floor and like that's the one to him. Like it's just weird. Like, how does this sound? Check this out. Hey girl, you in the yellow. I just want to say you're just so beautiful and so graceful. I was wondering if I get the honor of getting your number and maybe I could take you out to dinner. We can go for some wine or meet up for Starbucks and I can read you poetry. You see how dumb that sounds? And just for the record, there is no such thing as love in the club. The only thing that love in the club will get you is one of these. Very, 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 very scary. Which gives you a great chance to run into one of these. <laughs> My goodness. My goodness. Now, if that isn't scary enough, I want you guys to look at a breakdown of what the average guy spends at the club. You got a haircut, you got gas, you got car wash, parking, admission, because dudes do not get in for free. And depending on what type of guy he is, just the drinks just end up spending so much money, money that he doesn't even have. And all of that money spent on a night of possibility, not even a guaranteed thing of anything. It's just a night of rejection. And all that happening to that guy and he goes home without even getting a number, that is enough to drive that man insane. And before I forget, I wanted to let you guys know that guys get ready like this. They go out and think that they're this. They definitely think that they're this when they're really like this. Ladies and gentlemen, how about we just collectively just get together and just try to do better? No more front and stunting. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... Wow, 
Whack Ass of the Week. This week's Whack Ass of the Week award goes to Miss Jasmine Lee, 25 years old. Come to find out she spent her entire paycheck, $650 on a lace front wig, didn't pay her light bill, which was only $14, and saw fit to cuss out her child's second grade teacher because she brought the child out late to the lobby. And that insult to injury, borrowed money from a best friend's boyfriend without telling a friend, and got caught in a picture giving this dude a lap dance. I can't lie. I thought this was fake at first, though, but then I checked the, the Facebook profiles and the pictures, and this really happened. Miss Lee, you're a young mother, and I honestly do wish the best for you. It's obvious that you need some help. Um, all this type of stuff is completely unbecoming of a mother, of anybody. And I really hope you get some help and get this taken care of, though, because it's not too late for you to turn around and make the rest of your life the best of your life. But you are on PSA Radio, so I got to let you know. Now, when I was a kid, there was a word for females like you back in the day. <sighs> Those are the good old days. Anyway, Mr. Key, please give this whack ass the biggest hee-haw. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that the best friend didn't beat this girl down, man, because that's that's beat down worthy. Anyway, before we depart, I want you guys to know if you're looking for affordable iPads, MacBooks, gaming systems, Xbox, Wii's, PS3s, TVs, office supplies, etc., you can visit www.americanabusiness.com, then click shop. Americana Business beats all competitor prices. Also, if you have show topic ideas, comments, or nominees for Wackass of the Week, please submit them to the PSA radio page. And also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, PSA Radio Show, Hurtful, Helpful, Truth Radio. One last message. Seriously, people, if you don't have the money, stop fronting and stunting. Because there ain't nothing funny about a $35 overdraft fee. Because I don't care if you're a millionaire or you broke. $35 is $35.